What's up guys, more Medic One, and today we are going to be removing the blades on the old Murray Goat, and we are going to install the Megmo blades, and I'm gonna cut this whole acre with it, and I'm gonna give you guys my unbiased opinion. I bought this blade system with my own money, and so it's gonna be good or bad or indifferent, my opinion only. Alrighty guys, hey, if you have been a subscriber to my channel for any length of time at all, everybody knows the old Murray Goat. This is the machine that I do all my testing with. Uh, I test out different kinds of blades. I test uh, aftermarket carburetors. I've done just about everything to this lawnmower. Every belt changes, uh, tubes, how to repair flats, I mean, just everything. Electrical work, uh, drive belt, blade belts, how to adjust the decks. It's just been a good test mule for the Mower Medic 1. And today we are going to install the Megmo system on this riding mower. So, how can you get a set of these blades yourself? Well, you can't just go buy these off the shelf. These are proprietary to your model and blade length. So when I ordered these, I gave them the model number off the back of my tractor and they require the OEM, not aftermarket, but your OEM number off of your current set of blades. And guys, this thing is freaking awesome. You have, they claim that these flail blades are eight times harder than your original blade. Just so much, these kind of act like a flywheel when this thing is spinning. But, whenever they send it to you, it comes with instructions, it tells you all about them. You can replace the blades if you need to. They swing out of the way. This, is, this was the selling point for me. I have crawfish mounds in my yard that you can't see sometimes. And whenever you hit one with a regular blade, Man, it just digs and just gouges into the ground and it will actually stop the mower. These will fling out of the way and not do damage to your spindle, bend your blade. So I am super excited to try to use these. I'm gonna get these on here right now and then we're gonna start mowing. You wanna be sure that that blade fits this step right here if not and you tighten that puppy down it's not going to be balanced just like the star blade on a ayp sears roper or an mtd that has the star hole pattern as well And just like any regular blade, you want to install these with the wings up.
go. It is smooth as silk. It's got a complete different sound. off the bat I'm realizing that I'm gonna have to mow in a higher notch because whenever these blades are installed they're actually a little bit lower under the belly pan of the mower than, they, than the stock blade is so instead of mowing in four I'm having to mow in three to get the same height that I've been mowing as you can tell my wind row is almost non-existent the grass clippings are so fine that it's just settling down in the grass and I'm not having to bail my yard for hay when I cut it. So, my thoughts so far are that these blades are flipping awesome. Normally, when I'd go through, this is this area of grass right here is where my aerobic septic system sprays uh, the, the, the sewer water all over the yard. And this area stays lush, it stays thick, and I have a little bit of trouble mowing sometimes through here when it gets a little bit tall. But I'm noticing something when I mow with these new blades. It's not bogging my engine down. I don't know whether or not maybe the blades are actually trying to fall back a little bit. But from what I understand, that these uh, Megmo blade systems, uh, that center blade, that center of uh, that hub that these blades are attached to, act like flywheels. And yes, it takes a little bit more to get them spinning but my goodness it takes a lot less horsepower to keep them spinning in tall grass and you know stuff like that so this little bitty 14 horse motor is not struggling near as bad as it does 
with regular blades. I love the way these sound. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna finish mowing up this yard and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Almost done mowing but I want to show you guys one more thing well this little old dead spot is where we had a swimming pool at one time and we took it up uh, last year but down here in Texas and in the mo in the southern regions of the United States we have this grass right here that's called Bahia grass from what I understand and it can grow to be you know knee high waist high at times and I just want to show you that tall grass is no match for the Megmo blades. I make one pass and I don't have to go over it. I don't have any sprigs coming up behind me. Check this out. This Let's take a quick walk over here to where I've already mowed. And I got a couple of high spots in the yard. Of course, it's gonna scalp because I got an amp mound right there. But I just want to show you that there is absolutely hardly any windrow. And what grass is there, it's just so chopped fine. And it just disperses the grass a whole lot better. I am absolutely ecstatic of the way that it mows. The grass clippings are so fine that it just kind of floats down in the grass. I don't have to bail my yard. That's a big plus. Guys, I had a ton of fun making this video for you guys. I'm uh, y'all make this. You guys make it possible to be able to do reviews like this and uh, I am much appreciated. But anyway, hey, as much as I enjoyed this, I hope you did too. And uh, smash that like button and give me a subscribe and click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your week. More Medic One.